Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our places with sun shining faces. Oh, this is the way to have a good day. Hello, my sweet students, and welcome to our very first music class of 2021. I hope that you had a wonderful holiday break. Happy New Year. It's so good to be back with all of you. We have so many fun things planned. We have a little song to sing. We're going to learn some new melodies. We're going to look at some rhythm and we're going to dive in to a very special brand new composer. I'm so excited. So let's get started. Let's shake off the old cobwebs that are in our head and let's see how much we remember of our major and minor scales. Do, re, mi, fa, so. to take it extra slow for us as we get back into the swing of things. Let's move on and sing our major triad. Do mi so mi do. Ready? One, two, ready, go. Do mi so mi do. Very good. And if we add that top do, what will we have? Our major arpeggio. One, two, Ready, go. Do, mi, so, do, so, mi, do. Beautiful job. So after that, we go down to la for our minor scale. Okay? One, two, ready, go. La, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, la, so, fa, mi, re, do, ti, la. Nice job. Now, Let's sing our minor triad. La, do, mi, do, la. One, two, ready, go. La, do, mi, do, la. Very good. And if we add that top la, we get our minor arpeggio. Let's sing it. One, two, ready, go. La, do, mi, la. Very good, my friends. So I want us to learn a little melody on our solfege today. And it's going to come back again when we're talking about our composer of the month. We have a very special little collection of pieces that we're gonna be looking at this month. And when you hear this little part of the music, I want you to be like, oh, I know exactly what's happening. So we're gonna learn the melody ahead of time using our solfege so that we are ready to go. We're super good listeners when it happens. Okay, it's not too tricky and we're gonna break it up step by step. It kind of follows a pattern. But here's what it's gonna sound like at the very end. La, so, la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, mi, re, fa, la, do, di, la, la. It's kind of haunting. I love it. So I will sing a little section of it to you and you'll sing it back, just like when we learn our songs, okay? I think it's really helpful to use your hand sights, at least in the start, okay? So here's your first line. La, so, la, so. Fa, so, fa. Mi fa mi
That's the whole thing. So let's go really slow, like snail slow, and let's think through the whole thing one time, okay? So we start on la. One, two, ready, go. La, so, la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, mi, re, fa, la, do, de, la, la. Very nice. Can you do it a little faster? Let's try it. One, two, ready, go. La, so, la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, mi, re, fa, la, do, di, la, la. Very good. And that is the whole melody. So later in the class, you'll be able to listen and be like, ah, there it is, okay? When we hear it, it's gonna be very fast and it's going to be played by an instrument. Start thinking about which instrument you think might be nice for that kind of melody. What instrument might play that kind of melody? It's gonna go a little faster though. It's gonna sound It's gonna be just beautiful. I can't wait. So let's get moving and let's take a look at our song for the week. All right, my friends. So I know we're pretty much into January by now, but this is the first time I'm seeing you in the new year. So I wanna sing a New Year's song. So we're gonna sing a song called Happy New Year's to All People. And I'm really excited about it because I feel like we're always on break for New Year's Eve and we never get to sing any songs about it. And I personally love New Year's. In my family and my culture, it's a really, really big holiday. It's almost as big as Christmas. And around the world, so many different people celebrate it. So when I'm ringing in the New Year's every single New Year, I like to think about all the different people who are also celebrating. It's so, so special. So we're going to sing a Happy New Year song to all those different kinds of people that might be celebrating around the world. I'm super excited. So let's go take a look. All right, here is our first set of lyrics. It's really fun. It's not too difficult at all. We're gonna have three sets of words but they're all gonna be the same melody. So, if you're a good reader, after the first set of lyrics, you are good to go. And if you're not, well, you're gonna pick it up super quickly too. So, I'll sing a line, you sing it back to me. To all people in the world this day, Very good. All right, so that's our first set of lyrics. Let's see if we can put them all together. One, two, ready, go. To all people in the world this day, New Year's greetings we send on their way. New Year, New Year, wish you happy New Year. That melody is just so pleasant and fun to sing. So let's move on to our second set of words. Here is where we start to wish individual types of people a happy new year, okay? 
Sailors sailing in their ships at sea. Soldiers all wherever you may be. New Year, New Year. Wish you happy New Year. Oh, very nice. All right, let's try all of these words together. One, two, ready, go. Sailors sailing in their ships at sea. Soldiers all wherever you may be. New Year, New Year, wish you happy New Year. May your New Year very joy be lovely and last but not least got our last set of lyrics miners digging underneath the ground workmen toiling where the wheels turn round All right, very nice. So all we have to do now is sing this set of lyrics and then we're gonna perform it with our piano, okay? So third set of lyrics, let's hear it. One, two, ready, go. Miners digging underneath the ground, workmen toiling where the wheels turn round. And I'm just doing some little moves to make you guys get in the spirit. You can do anything that you think works with it. It's totally freestyle, okay? This is gonna be so much fun. You guys lucked out. It almost works as a round, but not quite. There's just a little couple of spots that don't quite link up with the harmonies. So we're just singing this straight through like the beautiful song that it is. Feel free to move and groove. Watch, it's totally gonna get stuck in your head. All week you're gonna be like, Wish you happy new year. <laughs> All right, so let's perform it with our piano. All right, big smiles as we wish all these different people happy new year. One, two, ready, go. To all people in the world this day, new year's greetings we send on the
guys. I'm sure it sounds just beautiful. If you're ever interested, you can always send a video of you guys singing it back to me. I would love to hear it. Nothing would make me happier. Just a thought. All right, so let's move on to our rhythm. All right, so here is all of the rhythms that we've learned so far. So let's start with the shortest one. It's also our newest one. That's our eighth note. So our eighth note gets half a beat. So it would take two eighth notes to fill a whole beat, which means if we have a measure that is four beats long, right, we'd need eight eighth notes. That's actually why we call them eighth notes. So you'd clap one and two and three and four and. Can you try that with me? Ready, go. One and two and three and four and. Very good. Now we move on to our quarter note. And our quarter note gets one beat each. One, two, three, four. Try it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Good. Now we have our half note. And our half note gets two beats each. So we call it a half note because it would take up half of our measure, right? So we'll need two of them to fill a whole measure. One, two, three, four. Try it. Ready, go. One, two, three, four. Very nice. So now we have our dotted half note. Our dotted half note gets three beats. It's probably the most awkward of all of the rhythms that we've learned so far because it doesn't fit evenly into a measure. So if we clap it, we need a dotted half note and a quarter note to get to four beats, right? So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Try it, ready, go. One, two, three, four. Nice. And last but not least, we have our dun -dun 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 whole note. And our whole note is called our whole note because it takes up the whole of the measure. So that means it gets four beats. So we are going to clap on the one and we're going to hold all the way through. Okay? One, two, three, four. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Okay, so just reminding you, most of the time when you see an eighth note, you're actually going to see two eighth notes for now until we get a little more tricky. So this is what our two eighth notes look like. One and. And two eighth notes gets one beat, right? Because a half plus a half makes a whole. So two eighth notes equals one beat, or you can think of it as two eighth notes is the same amount of space, amount of rhythm as one quarter note. Okay, so very good. Let's take a look at our rhythm for today. Give it a little look-see. We got some quarter notes, some eighth notes, some half notes. We're in four four as usual. Everything that's in blue, you're gonna clap on. It's most of it now, right? We're getting these really active rhythms, but that doesn't mean that they're harder. So anytime you see a black number, that's something you have to hold through. But if it's blue, clap away. So I'll clap a measure, you clap it back to me. All right. One, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, four. Very good, make sure you're holding through that four, right? One, two, three, and four, and. One, two, three, four. Did you hold through that four? You'll get one more chance. But just remember, you're holding through on those half notes, okay? Good, so that is our whole first line of music. So let's clap through it, okay? Starting from the top to the end of that line. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. And one, two, three, four. 
Very nice. So here is our second line, okay? One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three and four and. One, two, three, four. Did you hold through that four? Make sure you did. Okay, second line all together, okay? So starting on those four quarter notes. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three, four. One, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. Very nice. So we are going to take it from the top so starting at that very first note that you see, and I have a secret. This is a rhythm that you should recognize. You're at least able to recognize it. So as we're going through it, I know there's no melody to go along with it, but see if you can figure out where this rhythm is from, okay? All right, from the top. One, Two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Do you know where it's from? No, not yet? Well, here, let's do this. We're gonna clap it through. You're gonna clap along with me saying those numbers, but I'm gonna sing the melody that goes along with this rhythm and see if you can get it, okay? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. I bet a few of you recognize it now. This is our Happy New Year song. This is the rhythm that you've been singing this whole time. Isn't that crazy? So you have been using these eighth notes all along. I like to do this as often as possible with the songs that we're singing. Sometimes it doesn't work. You'd be surprised how tricky some of the rhythms that you guys sing are. But when it comes to trying to clap out the rhythm, it gets a little tricky. So. I want to do this rhythm just one more time, and if you think you can sing along on those counts with me, please do. All right? One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, and two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. Excellent job, you guys. Thank you for doing such beautiful clapping, being such good sports. Let's move on to my favorite part of the class, our Composer of the Month. All right, today we are meeting our January composer. His name is Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov, and he lived from 1844 to 1908. He is another Russian composer, just like our December composer, Prokofiev. I couldn't resist. I just thought this was perfect for us right now. So I went with another Russian composer. And he is from the Romantic era because 
Almost all of his compositions are from the 1800s. Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov is a very fun composer because he was often inspired by fairy tales or legends or folk tales, any of those really famous stories that people have been telling for centuries. That kind of thing really, really inspired his music and his imagination, and he created some incredible things from that. He also served in the Russian Navy, which means that he was a sailor. So he got to sail to a bunch of new and interesting places. And going to these new places, he heard new stories, he discovered new sounds. So he had a lot of different inspirations that went into his compositions that create a sound that's really, really interesting and slightly magical even. It's very, very unique to this composer specifically. Many beautiful, incredible pieces by Nikolai Rimsky-Korsakov. He's really one of my favorite composers. But for us, for this month, I thought it would be much more fun if we focus on just one of his pieces that is really, really, truly special for the whole month. So it's a little bit like the way we did the planets last year if you were here back in May. So it's going to be one large symphonic work that we're gonna break up into little pieces. So the piece we're gonna be talking about is called Scheherazade. Try saying that with me, Scheherazade. Yeah, it's a little tricky. Shaherazad. Shaherazad. And Shaherazad is a piece that is broken up into four movements. So for January, for school, we only have three weeks. So that last week will have to double up, but it will be worth it. Mark my words. Shaherazad is all about this incredible story. Remember I told you that Rimsky-Korsakov is really, really inspired by stories. And this story is about a very mean, very domineering sultan. So a sultan is kind of like a Middle Eastern king. This takes place in the Middle East or Arabia or Persia, whatever you want to call it, because it's really, really old. It's a Middle Eastern sultan. He's very mean and he's very, very difficult to please. And every single night, people come into the palace wanting to be a part of the kingdom. And the sultan says, tell me a story. And if that story is interesting enough, I will let you stay. If not, you'll be banished. So every single night, these people try to tell him an interesting enough story. But remember, I said that he's really, really, really hard to please. So every single night he says, mm -mm, not good enough, out with you. And then one day, a young woman named Scheherazade comes in to the palace and he does the same thing. Tell me a story and if it's interesting enough, I'll let you stay. But Scheherazade it's one of the best storytellers of all time. And she's really, really smart. So she starts telling him an incredible story. And then what does she do? If you're in chapter books already, I bet you know what she does. She leaves the Sultan on a cliffhanger. She goes up oh, at the most exciting part. She goes up, oh, I guess you'll have to wait till the next night to hear the next part of the story. So the Sultan is so, so intrigued. He's so, so interested. She comes back the next night. She tells another incredible story. And this goes on for 1,001 nights. This is a collection of stories that's very, very famous. It's called 1,001 Nights. Or Sometimes it's called Arabian Nights. That might be how you know it. And this is where we even get the story of Aladdin 
from the Disney movie. I bet you guys all know that one. So there are so many special and famous stories from this collection from Scheherazade. And this movement, this piece, shows four of those stories in each of its different movements. So let's take a look and let's learn a little bit more about what the music is going to sound like on the next slide. Okay, so our piece for this month basically is Scheherazade. It's from 1888 and as I mentioned it's inspired by 1001 Nights, a collection of stories. If you ever get an opportunity to get your hands on this collection I really really recommend it. Sometimes it's called Arabian Nights in America. It's really really cool and I bet you'll find a lot of fun stories that you recognize. Scheherazade is going to be performed by full orchestra. Rimsky-Korsakov was an incredible orchestrator he knew exactly which instrument to give each melody to to create this incredible experience. He makes such rich textures with all the different instruments in the orchestra. And what's really cool about this piece specifically is that each different character is represented by a different instrument in the orchestra. So our sultan, our mean mean sultan, is going to be represented by the brass family of instruments. So that's all of those kind of golden metal instruments. So trumpets, trombones, French horns, tubas, anything like that. And the sultan's theme sounds like this. <laughs> It's low, it's deep, it's menacing. There's a lot of cool stuff going on. Then Scheherazade, our storyteller, is going to be represented by a solo violin. And her theme sounds like this. Do you guys recognize it? I'll play it one more time. This is the piece of music that I made you guys learn when we were singing through our scales. La, so, la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, fa, mi, re, fa, la, do, de, la, la. And it's going to sound even cooler on a violin. So if you guessed that that melody would be played by a violin, good job to you. You might be a master orchestrator too is called The Sea and Sinbad's Ship. And this is a story about a very famous sailor named Sinbad. So remember when I told you that Rimsky-Korsakov was a sailor with the Russian Navy? I think that's a lot of where he got some of the inspiration for this piece. Sinbad is a famous sailor who went on these seven journeys. This is actually why we say the seven seas sometimes. I'll sail the seven seas, even though there's way more seas than that. It's because Sinbad the sailor went on these seven journeys through seven seas. And this is going to be just one of his journeys. And on these journeys, lots of crazy things happen to him. He meets monsters, he gets shipwrecked, all these different crazy things. So we're gonna hear a lot of that fun, ocean turmoil throughout this piece. And there's a couple of different things that are going to be happening in this piece musically, and we're going to break that down on the next slide. Okay, so the Sea and Sinbad ship is going to start with that mean sultan theme. Bum, 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 ba, ba, right? So that's kind of his tell me a story, and if I like it, I'll let you stay. Then our woodwinds, our clarinets, our oboes, our flutes play a melody in the whole tone scale. You don't need to know what that is, but it sounds a little like this. It's a little uh, mysterious, a little bit spookier, maybe even a little alien. And then Scheherazade tells us our story. She sings that phrase, or she plays that phrase, our violin, right? Plays that phrase that goes da 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 da
So I want you to be really, really listening for that. And then we begin this piece in our minor scale, but by the end, we're gonna be in our major scale. So see if you can tell when that change happens. Make sure you're listening for it. They are an incredible orchestra. They are based in Austria and people in Austria speak German. So at the very beginning, there's just gonna be the teensiest, tiniest little piece of German at the bottom of your screen. That's just the title of our piece in German. Don't worry about it. I'm so excited for you guys to listen to this special piece. Make sure you're listening for when it turns from minor to major. I'll give you a hint. A clarinet does it. And without further ado, Sinbad and his ship. Incredible. I could listen to it all day. It's so magical. Immediately you're transported to this magical ocean scene with a sailor going on wild adventures. I love it. If you're wondering when it turned to major, it was that very last few seconds with our clarinet. I wanted to take you to that point so that you could hear it, but I wish I could show you even more of it because honestly, I think it even gets better from there. I think it's just builds and builds in how wonderful it is during that movement. So as usual, I will be putting a link to a full performance of it in the description. You are welcome to go take a look at it. I completely recommend it. All right, my friends, you did such a good job today. You were such good 
sports, such good listeners, such good singers. It's so good to be back with you. I can't wait till next week when we can continue exploring this. But for now, let's say goodbye with our goodbye song. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Bye bye, butterfly. I'll see you again next time. I'll see you